So they learn to fail forward, which is something that you and I talk about a lot yeah. in our both personal and our and our corporate lives. They use these learnings for future rollouts, and we can actually see that in today's marketing, which I think is another bold move with a partnership that they have with Netflix and Stranger Things. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That was equal parts brilliant and self-deprecating, actually. So for our listeners, if you're one of the few people who haven't seen Stranger Things, it's this really cool period piece set in the 1980s in suburban America, and Coke partnered with Netflix to feature New Coke, on the show and coordinated to bring the flavor back for a limited time during the third season of Stranger Things, which is actually set in the summer of 1985. Perfect. Yeah, so they're just riding this massive wave of this 80s nostalgia that's coming back through Stranger Things. But they're actually launching the old new Coke during this time too, right? Yes. You can buy the product. Yes, they made the product available. Didn't you say they had a lot of syrup sitting in a vault somewhere? You <laughs> sure not repurposing that? $30 million worth of expired <laughs> syrup sitting somewhere. So it is amazing. They're taking their digital marketing and tying it into the real life sensing of their customers. Their sense is drinking the old new Coke, which is just incredible. 